possibly unpopular opinion here. Designer toys, yeah, they're boring. What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and today we are checking out some new things that I have picked up recently and well some things that you've seen before just in a different color basically and I'm talking about designer toys. Designer toys and I'm guilty of having them too because I fall into the hype and stuff and some of them I actually do like but to me they're starting to get stale and boring right and and there's a few things to go into this I'll explain about how Funko kind of does the same thing but not really and so I'm talking about obviously like chomp right there we have uh, tiny ghost let me just get these ones that are that are up here actually these guys like chomp and tiny ghost right here both of these are considered designer toys and I really hate that word designer toys because like they're just I mean they're just collectibles, right? Like, I, I don't know, something rubs me the wrong way about the phrase designer toys, but I have some new ones here that we're gonna take a look at. And, well, the first of them being uh, a tiny ghost here. This tiny ghost is the little spooky edition. And you can see here, this is actually, I, I like this, right? So a lot of designer toys, basically they take the same thing and they just paint it a different color. And this is a, a bit of an exception to the rule here as is this one, because I feel like this paint job right here completely transforms this mold, right? It makes it look very, very different versus like the green one over there. It's just, it, it's just green. Like this actually changes the depth of the, the mold and adds a different character to it as opposed to just, you know, uh, a different paint job, a different color, things like that. Now. Uh, another one here that we have, which is pretty new, this is another Tiny Ghost, the Inferno Edition. Now this one, kind of boring, to be honest. Um, this was an exclusive to Simply Toys in Singapore. And look at, okay, it's cool looking, right? Like I get it, it's cool, um, but it's literally just orange. Like that one's green, that one's a watermelon, that one's a, a little skeleton guy. This is just, it's just orange. like. That's it. And these are actually inexpensive, right? These are only like 30 bucks each. They're not too bad. So I don't really um, take any direct aim at like being mean to, to, to the companies that make these. I love Bim Toy. They do a lot for their fans. They're really cool people to work with. And uh, also Abominable Toys. They do really cool things for their fans too. And so this chomp right here, this was the uh, Amber Edition. And we do have another one over here, which is this guy right here. And this is, I can't remember the name of this one, but it's purple and yellow. And no, it's not meant to be like the Lakers colors. Um, it's actually Plastic Empire's colors. So look at these, right? Let's take a look. Yes, they look different. They're different colors. Yes. You know, there, there can be some arguments made that like you might want this one over this one. But I see shelves and shelves full of just ghosts side by side, all the same mold, or chomps side by side, all the same mold, and it just gets boring to me as a collector. Now, the one thing I like about Funko Pops is the fact that there are different molds, there are different characters. Yes, Funko is totally guilty of making, uh, you know, 10 Dekus, one Chrome, one Glow in the Dark, one Metallic, one, you know, whatever. Like, they're so guilty of making characters in different variations, but there are thousands of characters to choose from. There's only one character here. Now I will say this one's pretty cool because it does glow in the dark and it looks pretty nice in my opinion. It's got a pretty cool glow to it. Uh, it's like a purplish uh, UV like black light glow to it. Pretty nice, but again, I'll say it. It's boring to me. The same character over and over again with just a different color gets boring to me. The same way that pops in that fashion get boring to me. If it's just, it's just a chrome and then it's just a metallic and then it's the same variant as the common but it glows in the dark, blah, blah, blah. You know, those things get boring to me. Now another pack I have right here, another tiny ghost. These are the ice cream uh, three inch vinyl set. It's, it's three of them in a pack. So you pay $45 for these three guys right here, and they all look exactly the freaking same. Like, 
<laughs> they're just a different color. <laughs> it's, I get it, right? These are smaller companies. They don't have the budgets to be making a bunch of molds and stuff like that real quick. Um, but I think it's time to experiment a little outside of the box here. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, because I just think that some of these get extremely boring. Like, okay, here's an example of a designer toy, right? And we're gonna have to open this one up. Tech 63. These guys are so hyped. And I ordered this because it was glow in the dark and I was like, hey, that'll look cool in my glow display. Well, first of all, these tech figures are, are expensive. Like this was like $75. Uh, 75 bucks for this figure and they're all identical, like all of them. They're literally identical. So here's our little guy right here. They all look exactly like this. They just have a different paint job, right? And he also does come with arms that you can, you can swap out. You can swap out his arms to make them, you know, him holding his hands out, kind of thing like that. Um, but this is technically a DIY version, so you can paint it whatever you want and let the glow shine through where you want to. I just think, I, I see people with shelves of these and they're all just lined up like this, just one after the next. They all look exactly the same. There's no variation in the molds whatsoever. And these companies are banking, like banking, because all they have to do is tell the, the, the factory or the manufacturer um, to change the paint color and boom, you got another one. And they're banking because it costs, the, the amount of that it costs them to make the actual mold for the thing, yes, that's expensive. To get uh, the production right and to get it like, you know, looking uh, how you want it and perfected, that is expensive. And at least I do appreciate Abominable Toys because they have done some different molds that are a little bit um, out there that, that aren't exactly the same as this. They've taken the character and they've transformed it like into a Statue of Liberty or into a gumball machine, things like that. But Tech 63, these guys, I just, it, it would get boring to me to have 20 of these that are like 80 to $100 a piece. I've seen some that are 150 a piece. Same mold, different paint job, right? Same exact thing. And we have barely available. So I think I've shown this in a video before, I'm not sure. This was the hot, hot heat edition that was limited to 100, I believe. Um, and this guy, he's, he's just a one person act. He was, I think he was recently acquired by Bim Toy who makes Tiny Ghost or they um, adopted him into their company family. I don't know. Um, they look cool. I, I dig them. Look at this. Pretty sweet looking, right? Uh, but yeah, I mean, when you have 10 of these with the same paint job, just a little skeleton, same mold, nothing different, it gets boring to me. The same way, like I said, that pops get boring when they make the same mold in 10 different variations. And you could also say the same about just having a bunch of boxes sitting on a shelf like that those get boring as well. Just It just all looks the same, right? You just have a wall stack of boxes, which is why I do appreciate having some of my pops out of box to kind of change things up and not get so, so tired of it and bored of it. And one other thing we're gonna take a look at, which is pretty new. This is um, the 100% Soft Dumpster Fire. Now this product isn't new, but this specific one is new. And they do the same thing. They, uh, this is, this is all, the designer toy market is, right? Is let's take the same mold and paint it as many different ways as we can to get a different figure. Now this one is kind of cute because it does come with a little mask right here. It is the 2020 edition. So you can put his little mask on and pop it around the back. There we go. Look at that. So now he is staying safe and masking up. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But again, as I've, the theme of this video is designer toys are boring. And I think that's 100% true. Like what, what? Let's, let's do different molds, you guys. If you're a designer and you're making toys, let's design some more toys, right? Let's make, let's not use the same mold 
over and over again to make the same thing. Again, I appreciate Abominable Toys because they do, they have stepped out of the box on that before. I mean, just their recent release was a, a little bit different, but I do appreciate the Sexual Liberty and the Gumball uh, 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 Chomp, which came out uh, back a while ago. And I don't know. I just get boring of them, uh, bored with them, in compared to like Pops and, and things like that because I can collect different characters from Pops, which speaks to me personally a little bit more than buying the same mold of 50 different ghosts, right? Uh, that's just my opinion. I think they're cool. I do like this orange theme. Like I'm gonna put this orange one probably back here with uh, all the other yellow and orange stuff, but they're getting a little stale to me in my opinion, um, even with Pops mass producing and uh, making different variations of the same characters, there are still so many different characters and new ones coming up all the time, which kind of makes it a, a little more desirable to me to want to buy Pops, even if it's a common and a character that I didn't have that is new and that I like, I'm gonna buy it because it's cool. Like it's just different, you know? And that is a problem that I have with designer toys, especially the ones like this guy that this, I think this was $75. I think this was $75. Is this worth $75? No, they probably made this for $2 tops, tops. Same with the, I mean, same with these guys, even though they're on the cheaper side, this is only 30 bucks. I can't imagine the production cost after years of making the same mold is going to be that, much, that, that expensive. I just, I, I know for a fact. It's not that expensive. After you've been, after you've recouped your initial costs from developing the molds, not that expensive. Of course, this I view more of like a piece of art than something with just a Ouija board printed on it. Because like I said, this guy, it's pretty transformative. I think it looks cool. I dig it. But stuff like this, stuff like that, stuff like that, or this, let's just, let's be designers and design some more toys. Um, <laughs> thank you for coming to my TED talk. Anyway, I want to know what you think about designer toys versus Funko Pops down in the comments section below. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. I really appreciate all the support, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and a huge shout out to everybody over on Patreon, part of the Box Attack Army. I send them pops out of my collection every single month. So if you want to join up with that, be sure to check the link below in the description as well as a link to the Box Attack Universe Facebook group, which you can find right below that like button as well. I really do appreciate all the support. Thank you again for watching. Once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom and we'll catch you later.